last as a friendship. Why am I reading this like it's an action movie? <laughs> okay, hold on. But little did he know, she felt a little stronger than he ought to know due to the choices his parents have made for him. Okay, um, I will be putting the link of this thing in the description below. Uh, this is gonna be irritating and it's gonna trouble me for the rest of my life. But I'm here for that, ain't I? <laughs> oh, sweet Yuri wanted, and there's so much more. Oh, and young adult because it's supposed to be there and if it has mature content <laughs> which it doesn't other than one bad word so chapter one and it looks like this hold on it looks like that chapter one hey he walked right up to her without any hesitation greeted her hugged her even He's acting as if he's never seen her blush during all those times they've met in the past. Acting as if he's never seen her hurt either. Why so? It's been a long time since we've last met. I know, though still. <laughs> okay, first chapter. It was quite complicated on how or what I wanted the purpose of the book to be. Because I did some background research as well, and... Um, his original religion was Mormonism, and it never really occurred on the, uh, what do you call it? Their rituals or celebrations that we, that they would do. Like, for example, in Christianity, there's the Eucharist and, um, confession, uh, there's a lot more. Um... But here, it's hard to look for his religion overall, especially how much research I've done into doing the book and uh, his wife, his um, life as he was a kid, whether he was close to his parents, because it all needed to be present in the book. So there would be like some type of connection the reader would have to Brendan itself, you know? Chapter 2 Her mind was fading again. Dot dot dot. All she was able to do was stare at him. Into his eyes, at his lips, at the dimples that formed every time he smiled at her and spoke to her. Carrie? Carrie? Are you alright? She looked shocked. Dot dot dot. Good God. She has done it yet again. She spaced out just by looking at his face. <laughs> Why did I think this was a good idea? You guys tell me in the comments down below whether it was a good idea to write this book. We are going to finish this book today. 21 parts. Including the acknowledgements. Uh... <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Ah, uh, there's an ad. <sighs> Are you done yet? No? <sighs> Chapter 3. So yeah, as I've said, he stroked his hair, fixing it, fixing it in its already fixated hairsprayed hair. I could have at least improved my vocabulary. <laughs> Would it be alright if you come to the ceremony with me for myself and my parents later this week? It would be nice to have a close friend there. Another smile did Brendan flash upon his face, and another swoon did Carrie feel flutter in her chest. <laughs> but of course, she knows this will never end in the way she'd like it to be. <laughs> Brendan won't think of her as more than a friend anyways. And a Mormon can't date a non-Mormon. It'll be too difficult otherwise. This has truly gone wrong for the both of them. And, okay, that's the end of chapter 3. Chapter 4. He looked right at her, hopeful, 
He missed her pastel-powdered cheeks, the way that only he can manage to make it an even more vibrant color than it already had been. He missed it back when, back then when she hadn't been around too. He had adored her even though he knew they were not able to progress in any way he thought possible, and he knew she was hurt while she saw him with another Mormon girl. She ran away from him and tried to cut ties with him. This he still remembered. Because it hurt him the same way it hurt her at that very moment. Um, so that's the end of chapter four. What I can say so far about this is that I guess the only thing I kind of liked was the way that I didn't say particularly I or in the point of view of the girl or the point of view of Brendan. Because it would be more attached. Like, you wouldn't be able to get the feeling of both people if you hadn't, if I hadn't written in the third person. Like, he or she or they. I guess you can see more of how they interacted, expression, like how they interacted by expression and the way they reacted. To each other. Chapter 5. I, uh, I, of course, I come. Carrie thought that that response might have been a little too stiff. It could have been also, it could also, it could have also been worse, she thought. Oh well. Dot dot dot. He was about to smile again, but then she interrupted before she saw his pearly white teeth again. But, Brendan, what's the ceremony for again? It's the end of chapter 5. Um, so far, it may not quite sound like a poetic type of book in that manner, but uh, you can see the development of the writing between the both of them, and you know, the, the friction or... Well, you can say tension between the both of them because it's been a long time that they met in high school or college and she left and did not talk to him for a long time until right now. Um, so <clears throat> basically, Brendan was maybe 22 when they were doing college in this book. I don't know if he did college. I did not think of researching that. I should have. And uh, she, as mentioned like in the previous chapter, they were, she saw a girl hanging out with him and thought that, oh shit, like they're together and they're gonna end up together. And th that's most probably the plan of her parent, of his parents, to make them uh, reside in one another in marriage. Chapter 6. Crap! She stuttered when she thought it wouldn't get any worse. Dot dot dot. It just did. Yet again. Another dot dot dot. <laughs> Chapter 7. I've been using the Roman numerals, so it's quite a bit hard to read that it's a ceiling of children p children to parents thing it's because of the future jobs that i might drift away from them again and you know how that ended up a smile sometimes she hated when he smiled for a split second but then she suddenly withdraws her hatred and it bloomed into an adoration thanks i guess i'll see you at the lds church then absolutely Chapter 8. Just one line. Just one line in this chapter. What has she gotten herself into? Right? <laughs> I, rem I just realized how many... I don't know what you call those dot 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 things, but... How much I have used that so far, and it's just chapter 8. Great job, me. I think it was my favorite type of... Um... Oh, I have a message. 
I think it was my favorite type of uh, <clears throat> structural. No, sorry. Yeah, I think it was structural feature that I used so often, even in my writing in school at that time. Since I was a ninth grader. Yeah, I was a ninth grader at that time. Chapter 10. Chapter 9. Chapter 9. The days passed and both individuals had their minds stuck on the, uh, uh, on the thought of meeting one another once again in the following week. Their dreams were filled with each other. The love they want to expand... They knew they can't. It was a mess. It was truly a mess. Chapter 10 I am sick. I'm so sorry. You can see the sun setting on my face. The sun used to be like right up there and then now it's coming down slowly. The day had finally come. His summer ceremony. His binding. He was already there. As a female had already expected. Brendan was standing at the altar, waiting the presence of his parents to get up from the first row of seats of the tabernacle. I just realize I'm analyzing my own work, and that's supposed to be what I'm. That's what I'm supposed to be doing for school. Why am I so bad at that? <clears throat> so as I said, uh, they were. I writ wrote it as, matter of fact, to make to give it a sense as if they were getting married, and it was like a foreshadowing. Brendan looked up. He smiled. He smiled his goddamn smile. She saw him smile. She smiled back. Right. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is terrible. I think I bought a book at that time. Um, ah, the book was called Love and Misadventures. Yeah. Chapter 11 The priest had started the ceremony with an opening prayer and had blessed all the family members and those who attended the ceremony. Father and mother and son had still been standing there for a mere 20 minutes until the ceremony had concluded. It ended successfully and the attendees present were joyful, walking out seeing the ceremony. He shook the hand of the pastor, embraced his parents, walked toward her with them. He smiled at her. He smiled sweetly. Maybe a little too sweet. Yeah, because the parents wouldn't know what's going on in his mind, would they? Huh. Chapter 12. He saw Bebo's, um, Brendan's nickname in the real world. He saw, she saw Bebo's mother attempting to give her mo the most calming smile, but it turned out a little too stiff. She felt uncomfortable. Carrie stood up to greet both of them, held her hand out, and smiled along with her vibrant pastel pink cheeks. This made Bebo appear pink-faced, and he looked down to his feet as his smile grew wider. It's nice to meet you, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Yuri. Chapter 13 Small talk was attempted between the four, and throughout this time, Grace Yuri was the most difficult to speak to. Although after ample time, it did end after all. Hey, um, uh, let's go for a ride, he offered to her. Sure, where to? He stuttered, she had thought. When in the world did he ever stutter? The Brendan she knew was confident and all out there. The nearest park we can find, I guess. Brendan took her hand and smiled at her once again before running to the parking lot to climb aboard the vehicle. Next chapter. Hold on, let me just... I'll be back. Just... Okay, so where was I? Um, ah, chapter 15. Was there a 14? Oh yeah, the, I meant chapter 14. I'm so bad at reading these Roman numerals. The nearest wasn't the nearest as she thought it would be. They both drove out of the city, watching the lights slowly get left behind as they drove past them. He finally stopped the car in a car park at the side of a place even she had never seen before. She looked out her passenger window, seeing what it, that it was, in fact, a park. No shit. What was so special about this place that he had driven to almost an hour to this particular park? Wait, what? 
oh, rephrase or reread that so that the tone is better. What was so special about this place that he had driven almost an hour to this particular park? God knows. Let us see. Chapter 15. Burger King felt lettuce. I'm, I suck. <laughs> oh no, why did I do that? I voted on my own book. That, no, uh-uh. Mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> Chapter 15. It was night by the time two had gone into the park and they made their way all the way to the landscape of trees where there was a clearing with no one present. I want to show you the real reason why I took another binding ceremony. Another. She told her still holding her hand while both sat on the grass looking up, looking up at the stars. Ooh, what could be happening? <laughs> Chapter 16. He cupped her cheek, looked into her eyes. He leaned in closer. She closed her eyes. Chapter 17. He kissed her. Chapter 18. It was first a peck. It then deepened as passion grew where one, where it once was hidden from one another, and they cherished it. Chapter 19. The passion had taken time to dissolve, and side by side they sat intertwined in each other's arms, and a sudden thought came to mind. Her mind. But I'm, I'm not a Mormon. Screw it. Music's my religion. He looked her smile once again. Also, haven't I told you? What's that? she asked. Chapter 20. I love you. <laughs> oh god hold on let me just message everyone here on our discord family link in the description below that we are making a video right now hold on let's turn our wi-fi back on everyone hello uh let's go to announcements <clears throat> at everyone Hello, y'all. Welcome to the message I was typing out in my video making <laughs> video making process. Okay, here, just so that you know that it's actually real. Hold on, it's not focusing. It's actually real. It's inverted, but, um, you know, it's still there. And send. I hope you enjoyed me reading my <laughs> fan fiction, do you? Okay. I guess that's all. Bye, I'm Lane, and I hope you tune in to the next video. Bye!